Joining us now, Alan Dershowitz, professor of law at the Harvard Law School and author of the book, Terror Tunnels, the case for Israel's just war against Hamas. Professor, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you had Barack Obama as a law student there at Harvard. No. No? No. What happened is he applied for my class ah. and didn't get in. Uh, the computer <laughs> kept him out. There were like 500 applicants for 50 spaces. And I think he's still angry at me for blaming me for not allowing him in the class, but it wasn't my decision. Well, now we, have, now we have the record uh, <clears throat> corrected. He wanted yeah. to be in your class, but if That's you had right. the chance to have an intimate a conversation with him about an embassy in Tehran. Uh, would you offer a polite lecture? Well, we've spoken about Iran on one-to-one -one in the Oval Office, um, and we've spoken about Iran also in a, a meeting with several of his staff members. Uh, actually, I thought his answer was, was quite good. Uh, I wouldn't preclude the possibility if, for example, Iran agreed to totally dismantle their nuclear program in exchange for an American embassy, uh, it seems to me that would be a win-win. First, an American embassy could be a source of uh, information and intelligence gathering. And what do we really give up when we uh, accord them diplomatic status? Now, obviously, it's awfully hard for us to give them an embassy, considering the last time what they did to our embassy. They took it over and, in violation of all international law, held our uh, embassy officials uh, captive for a very, very long period of time. Uh, on the other hand, uh, things do change. And yeah, but Alan, with all due respect, yeah. Alan, you're setting up a hypothetical that is highly yeah. unlikely given the you. posture of this country in terms of negotiating with the Iranians. In fact, on this program, uh, uh, on one occasion a couple of weeks ago, you said if, if things move forward with further concessions to Iran, that would be President Obama's, quote, Neville Chamberlain moment. So I agree with that completely, yeah. and I hope he doesn't reach that moment. All he said today was he wouldn't foreclose it in the next two years. Uh, certainly it shouldn't be given to them in exchange for helping us defeat ISIS. Uh, they have a far greater stake, the Iranians, in defeating ISIS than we do. Uh, they have greater fear from ISIS than, than we do. Uh, and so I would only accord diplomatic relations in exchange for a game changer, and the game changer would really be uh, giving up their nuclear program. Now, I don't think we could ever believe that they gave up their nuclear program. Even if they agreed to do it, they would probably try to operate surreptitiously. And the question is whether having an embassy there would increase the chances of us picking up on their uh, uh, cheating. And also we then have a, a chip to play. We could remove our embassy if we caught them cheating. It's complicated. I certainly wouldn't right. offer them diplomatic relations. Uh, I, I think the president was right to distinguish Iran from Cuba. Cuba is a small country that poses no real threat to us now that the Soviet Union is gone and they're no longer a base for possible nuclear, nuclear rockets. Uh, Iran is an enormous country and uh, poses great threats, not only to the United States, particularly if it were nuclear arms, but to all of its allies in the Middle East, particularly Israel, which it has sworn to annihilate. So, um, you know, I think the possibility of using diplomacy, along with other things, as a way of defanging Iran, uh, holds some promise. But I would, I would certainly not offer diplomatic relationships uh, except in exchange for very, very major concessions from Iran. All right. With, with that in mind, Alan, and we, we, you're gracious to stay with us through the next segment. Uh, obviously, and you've made no secret of it, your political orientation is inclined to be sympathetic with, with that of President Obama. We understand the presidency is a tough job. But having said that, 15 seconds, has he weakened America's standing worldwide? Well, I think there's that perception, and it, I think, remains to be seen. He still has two years. And if he could bring about some kind of uh, a deal with Iran, and if he can show that diplomacy uh, speaks softly, carry a big stick, but do both speak and carry the stick, I, I think the, the final history hasn't yet been written. Fair enough. We'll, we'll take a look at it uh, when we come back with Alan Dershowitz right after this.